Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmad and welcome in lecture number 27. Today we are going to embed the bootstrap 4. Yes, I am talking about the front end, front end framework bootstrap 4. So, how can you embed this bootstrap 4's CSS and JS file? So now, before doing this, go to the get bootstrap. Okay, now this is the official website of the Twitter Bootstrap. Now what you need, the current version of the Bootstrap is 4.3.1 while I'm recording this lecture. Okay, click on this one. So they are saying you can also add the CDN or you can also download the version. It's totally depend upon you how you are using. But for now, I am using the CDN. Now, as you can see, I have I'm going to leave this one and now I'm going to comment this one so you can easily get the code. Now copy this bad boy and paste this bad boy here. We have used the CSS file of the bootstrap. Yes, it's bootstrap 4. Now copy this bad boy also. In the footer sections, we are adding the jQuery slim.min.js, properman.js, bootstrap.min.js. Now go to the page, refresh the page, and now right click inspect element in the console sections. So as you can see, everything is working fine. Now I'm saying that I'm going to use the bootstrap classes. So as you can see, classes is now available because we have embedded the Twitter bootstrap 4. I'm saying uh, button and now I have to use the classes button, button and its info. Now I'm saying my button, save the file, go to the page, refresh the page. So now as you can see, it's showing you the button okay now control zero this is the button so that means we have successfully embedded the coding nighter 4 but what happens if you have the coding nighter 4 setup so download the coding nighter 4 so it's totally depend upon you either you are downloading the compiled css and js file or the source file or we have already done that CDN. I'm going to download this one. So download the files. Make sure I'm going to keep this file in my XAMPP and make sure HTTP docs because it's, we are using the XAMPP and we have the CI4 project. In the CI4 project, we have a public directory. So I'm going to store the coding editor, sorry, bootstrap setup here. So now open in the same folder. So as you can see, this is the setup. Double click, fine. Now right click, extract the folder, write the name of the folder. I'm saying bootstrap. Okay. Now, I have to add the bootstrap here. I'm going to remove the code. So these are the CDNs. Now I'm going to add the physical files. We have downloaded the bootstrap for files. I'm saying that link type real style sheet and now I'm saying href. Now I'm saying that base URL and I'm saying find the bootstrap bootstrap folder and in the bootstrap folder I'm saying I have the so you can see this is the public file public folder in the bootstrap folder I'm saying I have CSS file sorry folder in the CSS folder 
I also have bootstrap dot css file. So I'm saying bootstrap dot css file. Similarly, I have to load the JS file. Make sure I'm saying script type and it's a JavaScript file and I'm saying source and here I'm saying the echo now base URL I'm saying in the bootstrap folder I have JS folder and definitely I have bootstrap.js file so open the JS file so you can see bootstrap.js file make sure we have not embedded the jQuery so before embedding the bootstrap.js file you have to embed the jQuery file okay now go to the page refresh the page right click inspect element console so as you can see it's saying fn of undefined because util.js so i am going to embed the jquery i am saying jquery cdn from the official website so this is the jquery official website you can also embed the jquery as a cdn so as you can see they are giving you the jquery and the proper js so copy this file here and paste this file at the top of the js code bootstrap.js now go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's working fine you are not receiving any error so this is the method one and the method two is i'm saying i am uncompressed version so copy this bad boy now load the jquery here okay now this is a jquery file now go to the page refresh the page it's also working fine because it's totally depend upon you what is your need and what is your requirement so we have successfully embedded or added the bootstrap 4 in our bootstrap 4 in our coding writer 4 setup so thank you for watching